Hey guys, Sam here. What is polling rate? Well, according to a simple Google search, polling rate measures how often a device, typically a gaming mouse or keyboard, reports its position back to the computer it's paired up to. So for keyboards, it's basically how often your keyboard tells them what key is being pressed. So 125Hz polling rate means the keyboard is talking to your PC 125 times a second, while 1000Hz means it talks to your PC 1000 times a second. But there are actually a lot more things that come into play, so if you want a detailed explanation, I recommend Tokaku's video explaining polling rate. It's obviously going to be better than me at explaining this, however, by the end of the video, she said this about Osumania. Although for Mania, I can see a slighter bigger amount of people at the top who would need a 1000Hz keyboard. However, if you're not really good at Mania in the first place, getting a 1000Hz keyboard won't magically improve your accuracy. Well, I'm not very good at Mania. My accuracy is horrible, in fact, I haven't played the game in 6 months until 2 weeks ago and I'm still de-rusting. Just like you are, you are shit at the game, your accuracy is bad. So how does polling rate actually affect us, the general player base that is mediocre at best at the game? Well, before I get into how I will conduct the tests, first of all, how do you measure your polling rate? Well, I recommend this software, the download links will be in the description, and you just click on the zip file, download it on whatever folder you want, extract it. After you have downloaded this program, you'll be met with this. You click on start recording and alternate between two keys. Do this for about 3 seconds, maybe 5, and then click on analyze. Click on polling rate fitter and it will show your polling rate. So mine is 125Hz on this Royal Clutch RK71. Now that we know how to measure our keyboard's polling rate, now let's talk about what keyboards I will be using. The first one is of course this keyboard that I've used in all of my videos. This is the Royal Clutch RK71. It has 125Hz polling rate, ABS key caps that just fucking exploded as I was playing so I swapped it out with the TechWare PPT keycaps that are way more durable. This cost around $60 in the US and 170 ringgit in Malaysia which is around $38. So you Americans are kind of getting scammed. And this? Yes, it has been sitting on my lap this whole time. This is the TechWare Phantom Plus Elite 87 sent to me by SunCycle. Huge thanks to them. It cost around $80 in the US or 329 ringgit in Malaysia which is around $72. It has a 1000Hz polling rate, double shot and double wall PPT keycaps that last forever. Now you might say that this keyboard is too expensive and this is not even a fair comparison. but. For the same price as the RK71, you can get the non-elite version which is just TechWare Phantom Plus and it's basically the same keyboard as the Phantom Plus Elite but it doesn't have the PPT keycaps, it doesn't have this quote cable that it comes with and it doesn't have this detachable skirt which I will be taking off for my tests because I prefer a less bulky keyboard. For this experiment, I'll be using Gator Run rate switches on both keyboards because that's what I'm used to, and I'll be playing two maps. Because of what I've explained earlier, the effects caused by the difference in polling rate is going to be more noticeable in dense map containing more quads and hands with a higher OD, which means a tighter timing window. Polling rate will still affect your scores on less dense tag maps, but I thought dense maps will have more obvious results, and also I look cooler playing dense maps even though they are super easy. I'll be playing both maps on OD9 which is the highest I can go before this thing called skill issue starts affecting our results. Besides, most ranked maps and love maps cap out at OD9 anyway. These two picks are maps that I found quite challenging but is still able to comfortably get an S on. That way I can perfectly simulate how you guys will perform when you're trying to play a map that is decently challenging. I'll be playing both of these maps 3 times on each keyboard which means 6 plays in total for each map and I'll compare plays from each keyboard that are only done in the same session. This is to make sure my session performance wouldn't affect the results. Other than that, I'll be playing the map back to back with two keyboards. I wouldn't play this map first and then play something else and then come back with this keyboard. This is to make sure my results are consistent. So let's get into the maps I'll be playing. The first map is the Dance Court Jack pick, which means it's a jack map consisting primarily of hands and quads. For this pick, I went with Why We Lose 1.1 by Singre, re-uploaded by Zeroa. This will show the effects that polling rate will have on dance jack maps like Free t -Bird, Tiny Little Adiantum, The Lost Dedicated, a bit like that.
The second map, however, will be the Dance Hand Stream pick, which means it's a stream map consisting primarily of streams with hands and jumps. For this pick, I went with Knight Rider by my favorite mapper, the GOAT, the legend, Evening. This will show the performance difference on dance hand stream maps like Quadra Phoenix, Future Dominators, Anomaly, maps that focus on dance hand streams. Now that I've done all of the tests, let's start with the results from the Dance Chord Jack pick why we lose 1.1. The results are pretty consistent across the board. The Phantom Plus Elite won by 32,844 points on average across all plays. The difference on the graph right now looks very small because I used full scores for the data so the maximum score will be 1 mil. But in my opinion, score that is lower than 700k is kind of pointless. So I'll deduct 700k across all scores to show the difference clearer. And this is the graph we ended up with. This this is a map that I'm quite comfortable with, mainly because it's just mashing, so I'm able to act this pretty well. A 32,000 average score difference is really big, so I would say polling rate definitely matters on maps that you can act well on. I can only imagine how big of a difference polling rate will cause for accuracy players that SS rise maps on the daily. Next, we go to the dance hand stream pick, which is Knight Rider. And again, Phantom Plus Elite wins the RK71 across all plays with an average score difference of 6897. This is a map that is more challenging for me so I'm not able to act it as well as I did why we lose. Which means if you're not able to act a map as well or you find a map more challenging, polling rate will not make too much of a difference. Again, the same reason as why we lose 1.1, I'll deduct 700,000 from all of the plays to show the difference clearer. This is the graph we end up with. After all of the tests, I would say that polling rate does matter for us mediocre players for sure. However, the difference will be smaller and smaller as you play more challenging maps that you are not able to act well. So if you're someone that always plays maps that you find super challenging that you can barely ask, I would say maybe don't feel too bad about getting a 125Hz keyboard. However, if you're an act player, you have to get a 1000Hz keyboard. There are plays where where the difference is so big it's not even close. After all that, if you're interested in this techware keyboard, do check out Sun Cycle's website or techware in Malaysia on Lazada and Shopee. All links are in the description below. Anyways, that's it for this video. Wait, why are you still here? Normally people would just leave when they see there's only the outro after the sponsored segment. Well anyway, since you're here, this is a personal update and a small announcement. First of all, I got a webcam, so I no longer need to record with my phone. Yay! Other than that, I also got a completely new setup now. Check this out. That's you. This is the ASUS gaming monitor, the model should be on the screen right now, it's 144Hz and it's pretty big, it's actually quite hard for me to get used to a 24 inch monitor when I'm used to a 14 inch monitor and this is my new gaming PC, pretty cool right? The PC specs should be in the description, I decided to win all AMD because it's just way better for the money and since I finally got a gaming PC now I'll be streaming soon when I get everything ready. So if you guys want to go follow twitch.tv slash diarrheaenjoyer. I actually came up with it because my normal name, which is Sam939, got taken on Twitch. So I just decided to get a little creative. So if you guys want to hang out, watch me play some games, talk to me, feel free to follow my Twitch channel. And yeah, that's about it. Like, subscribe, all that shit. See you guys in another video. Bye.